It is now clear that we've achieved the most incredible political thing. Look what happened. Is this crazy? The day after the US election and Americans have woken up to a new president-elect and a sense of deja vu. Four years after he was defeated by Joe Biden, Donald Trump has staged one of the most remarkable political comebacks of all time. This was a movement like nobody's ever seen before. And frankly, this was, I believe, the greatest political movement of all time. There's never been anything like this in this country and maybe beyond. It was a landslide so impressive that even some Republicans were shocked. In terms of the battleground states, Donald Trump was able to retain North Carolina. He picked up from Democrats Georgia and he busted through the Democratic blue wall, Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania. Republicans also now control the Senate and they're in a tight battle to win back control of the House of Representatives too. How did he do it, you might ask? Well, his base obviously showed up in force. They're made up of white working rural class voters, but other voters also showed up in force too. Black men, Latinos, young men who are generally unhappy with the direction that their life is going because they're upset about cost of living pressures and the genuine crisis at the US-Mexico border. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in, they're eating the cats, they're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country. I think what's clear about this election is, is that it has reinforced the fact that the Republicans under Donald Trump are increasingly a party of the working class, while the Democrats have increasingly become a party of college educated, upper income suburban people, particularly women. It's a fascinating few years under the direction of the new president. And while Kamala Harris did not make history as the first woman ushered into the White House. The outcome of this election is not what we wanted not what we fought for, not what we voted for. Americans have indeed made history by electing the first convicted criminal to the White House. So I want to thank the American people for the extraordinary honor of being elected your 47th president and your 45th president. And every citizen, I will fight for you, for your family, and your future. Every single day I will be fighting for you and with every breath in my body. I will not rest until we have delivered the strong, safe and prosperous America that our children deserve and that you deserve. This will truly be the golden age of America. That's what we have to have.